there are two alloys p and q made of silver copper and aluminium alloy p contains 45 percent silver and rest is aluminium alloy q contains 30 percent silver 35 percent copper and the rest aluminium alloys p and q are mixed in the ratio 1 is to 4.5 the approximate percentages of silver and copper in the newly formed alloy is right so we have to do some approximate calculation here i would like to stress on the word approximate right so don't waste your time in doing a, a precise calculation there right we have to find out the percentages of silver and copper in the newly formed alloy so basically he says there are two types of alloys p and q that we have and these alloys are made up of silver copper and aluminium so it's a mixture of silver copper and aluminium now alloy p has got 45 percent silver and the rest is aluminium which means there is no copper yeah and alloy q has 30 percent silver 35 percent copper and the rest is aluminium then p and q are mixed in what ratio 1 is to 4.5 see 1 is to 4.5 is as good as 2 is to 1 9 right i mean try to take it in a simple form 1 is to 4.5 is equal to 2 is to 9 so basically it's like you take two parts of alloy p nine parts of alloy q and mix them when you mix them these silvers and aluminiums and coppers in these two alloys will also get mixed and we will get the new concentrations the new percentages so we have to find out the approximate percentages of silver and copper in the newly formed alloy now first and foremost alloy p look at alloy p what is it it has got silver copper and aluminium alloy q has also got silver copper and aluminium you don't have to do this drama in the exam of drawing boxes and all that i'm just doing it for the sake of explanation so alloy p has got how much silver 45 percent is silver and the rest is aluminium which means there is no copper zero percent copper and the rest 55 percent is aluminium right if 45 is silver obviously remaining 55 is aluminium then alloy q has got 30 percent silver yeah uh, 35 percent copper 35 percent copper and the rest is aluminium what is the rest 35 percent is the rest so 30 plus 35 plus 35 like 70 plus 30 100 percent so total is 100 percentage i mean you know that total is always 100 percentage now these two are mixed together these two are mixed in what ratio 2 is to 9 ratio right so two parts of p and nine parts of q to get a new alloy let's say we get a new alloy right new mixture now again that will have some silver copper and aluminium so he's asking us to find out the percentages of silver and copper how much is silver and how much is copper in the newly formed alloy how much is silver and copper in the newly formed alloy now i think uh, there are four options given to us uh, the percentages of silver given are 33 percent 29 percent 35 percent and of course fourth option is none of the above so we'll have to do a, a you know complete calculation i guess but yeah you can either calculate silver percentage or copper percentage to get the answer in my view let's let's try to find out silver percentage how do you do how, how do you solve this see let us assume that there are two parts of alloy p and nine parts of alloy q 2x and 9x how much will be the silver in the new alloy s dash let's say s dash and c dash yeah so how much will that be s dash will be equal to see 45 percent of 2x plus we will get 45 percent of 2x silver we will get 45 percent from 2x as silver plus 30 percent of 9x as silver here 30 percent of 9x divided by see he's asking us to find out the percentage right so total silver here is 45 percent from 2x 30 percent from 9x divided by 11x total is 11x right total quantity of this new alloy is 9 plus 2 11x so out of 11x how much is silver out of 11x 45 percent of 2x plus 30 percent of 9x is silver multiplied by 100 to get the percentage requirement right he's asking us to find out the percentage of silver now do the calculation similarly you can find out the copper uh, as well right how much would copper be c dash c dash would be like zero percent so you understand c dash will be equal to zero percent so zero from the first alloy p and 35 percent of 35 percent of 9x divided by 11x into 100 find out the copper percentage we get the answer all right so so do the calculation uh, 45 percent of 2x see i think x anyway gets cancelled so forget about x there 45 percent of 2 45 percent of 2 is 0 0.9 30 percent of 9 is 2.7 so 0 0.9 plus 2.7 it's like 3.6 by 11 yeah so how much is this 3.6 by 11 into 100 i think uh, approximately one third right 3.6 into 1 3.6 into 3 is 10.8 3.6 into 3 is 10.8, right? 3.6 into 3 is 10.8. 10.8 is very close to 11. So I can say silver 
is one third, one third of hundred, which is thirty-three percentage, approximately thirty-three percentage. Yes or no? Thirty-three percentage. So clearly, option two and option three get eliminated. Answer should either be option one or option four, none of the above. See what I have calculated so far is silver percentage. Silver comes out to be thirty-three. Now, if you are ready to take a chance, mark option one and go to the next one. If you are not sure about the second percentage, twenty-nine here, which is for copper, then do this calculation. If that comes out to be twenty-nine approximately, option one is the answer. Otherwise, none of the above. Right? Three point six by eleven came out to be one third. One third is thirty-three percentage. Now do this copper calculation. So this is zero anyway. Thirty-five percent of nine x. Again, x gets cancelled. Thirty-five percent of nine x. Or or easier way of doing it is like this percentage and hundred gets cancelled. Eleven goes approximately three times here. Three into nine, twenty-seven. Somewhere around twenty-seven. Yeah. Approximately twenty-seven. So I think, uh, or it, in fact, it is. It should be greater than twenty-seven. See what did we do? We said this percentage in hundred gets cancelled. Percentage like by hundred, right? By hundred and hundred gets cancelled. We were left with thirty-five, nine, and eleven. Now eleven goes. Eleven into three is thirty-three. So this is three point something. Three point. Let's say I think it it comes out to be three point. Then two is left out, right? Three point two. Three point two into nine. Three point two multiplied by this nine. Three point two into nine is how much? Yeah, three point two into nine would be twenty-seven plus one point eight. In fact, twenty-eight point eight, not even twenty-seven. Twenty-eight point eight. Yeah, so close to twenty-nine, approximately twenty-nine percentage. Yeah, that's what we got here. So option one is the final answer, right? Option one, thirty-three percentage and twenty-nine percentage should be the final answer. Now let me tell you that you know the solution is not lengthy. It it appears to be lengthy because of all these steps that we have put on paper, but you know most of this written explanation was just the question itself right this is for your explanation so everything that has been highlighted in red need not be put on paper i think the only steps that you put on paper here is whatever calculations that we have done yes or no so if i have to highlight in reds and greens to to show you what needs to be done and what need not be put on paper this is what you have to put on paper just play with numbers and get the required percentages What do we do? Forty-five percentage of two, thirty percentage of nine divided by eleven. Get the answer. You know, only play play the numbers. So should not take much time. I think about forty-five seconds, and you'll be able to get the answer as option one.